reaction. Uh, to be rushed to the hospital. And they're gonna give me some more shots and stuff. This is gonna be right here. They're gonna check things out. So hey you guys, I know I look weird and I'm talking weird because I had another allergic reaction. It's been about three years since I've had one. I don't know if you guys could tell, my face is still swollen. My ears are really swollen, like they were huge, but my ears and stuff were swollen. All of that, y'all. had hives all over my face, all over my body. Um, this time, it didn't make me black out, thank God, but y'all i really think it's the um brand louisiana brand of uh gumbo roux and also their fish fry mix because i had literally just ate some of their fish fry mix i'm sorry i can't open my mouth it's like wide to talk um and and then i broke out in the hot my face got really hot uh, my head got really hot and then I just broke out into hives. They gave me, I did an EpiPen on myself, which I was a little nervous about, but I just did it. And then I called 911. They came and got me. Um, they gave me Benadryl and they gave me prednisone to help with the itching and the hives and um, the other reactions. So you guys, super random. I was at home relaxing, like I told you guys I would in the other video. Um, but, uh, yeah, you guys, I'm so tired because they gave me medication. It makes me sleepy, but it was so random. I actually answered a couple pictures and videos from this particular, um, outbreak because I was really, really, really scared. All I could do was, like, pick cold compresses on my face and just do the EpiPen, and then I called 911. Hey, what's up? So, you guys, I'm just quickly going to show you guys someone oh shit sorry i dropped my my straw i'm into metal straws now i don't use plastic straws so they're metal okay um i got them off of ebay i got a set of four um for like six dollars with a cleaner um the reason the only reason i'm saying that is because uh i know a lot of people are into metal straws and i went to target initially to find it but they didn't have the ones I wanted. They had the ones with like half metal, half like that rubber plastic. And that's not what I was looking for. And it was not long enough to reach the bottom of my venti cup from Starbucks that I got from Walmart. So I ended up going online. So those straws are 10.4 inches. And that's the um, length of a Starbucks cup. And it fits perfectly. It's a little loose around the little hole that goes through the top. But... Other than that, it's perfectly fine. Um, but anyway, that digress. So somebody was sweet enough to, um, I don't want to say names, but they were sweet enough to buy me an Ulta gift card. You know who you are. I personally think to you, we talked for a minute. We used to be, we used to talk a lot more often, but you know, life just kind of got in the way and stuff. So I went to Ulta and i got a couple of things i'm just going to show you guys real quick because i feel like i haven't done this in a really long time um today they were having a sale that if you buy any um oh drop my receipt if you buy any beauty brands by women that you would get at five times the points you would normally get so considering i love a little women of color so i was like cool so y'all know i love the beauty bakery and juby's place and um what's the other ones there's a bunch of them but mostly i supported women of color because okay give back to your community okay nothing wrong with people who are not a women of color but 
the I, oh i can't wait till jewelry's place have i wonder if they're gonna have the foundation and concealer at ulta because they're not that expensive the concealer is i think they said like 15 or 16 dollars i mean um the foundation is like 16 dollars and the concealer is like 12 i'm like i want to try that but anyway digressing so what i wanted to grab i grabbed a couple of things just because you know, it was a gift card and it was super sweet and I wanted to just grab a couple of little things instead of one big thing. So the first thing I grabbed is the Cake Pop Slippy um, in the color Peanut Butter Luster. Uh, focus. There we go. Okay, great. Let's back a little bit. There we go. Um, it looks like a cake. This is the small one, so I'm going to open it and show you. It is a mini soft matte lipstick. This was $14.00. Um, so once again, I got five times the points on this as well. All of these five times the points. This is black owned, um, women. Okay. I love the beauty bakery theme. Like it's all food, even though some people did try to steal it and people act like it didn't happen, but it happened. But you know what God got for you, nobody can take away. Just like Machino's trying to capitalize on the fact that the crayon case is literally the only brand I've ever seen do school themed makeup and i love it i can't wait to order from them as well but like i said this was a gift because mama got bills to pay um but anyway this is yeah so i told you guys the color what is wrong with me so this is the size of it it's a mini so it's super cute and i think that for a mini it actually has a lot of product in it um so i have not swatched it or anything and considering the fact that i do not go through lipsticks within like a day or two it's fine so i'm gonna swatch it on my hand and it's just like really pretty brick like almost a brick brown like a brick red brick brown color um it doesn't really give me peanut butter vibes i was looking for my like a nudie color so oh i forgot to tell you guys so I wanted to tell you guys this sooner, but I kept forgetting. I'm so sorry. Woo, Chile. So I want to let you guys know I got another job finally. I actually got hired at another Starbucks. Um, I'm not sure if she, if the other lady recommended me, but either way, I'm very, very happy. Um, I got hired at the end of April, but um, because like of just trying to set up time to train and have time to do that and plus I had to um, get a background check so that took about two that didn't take too long because I don't really have anything on my background just if they're checking credit then I have like student loans hospital bills shit like that but other than that I don't really have any issues or whatever but I just want to let y'all know that I got another job. So thank you guys so much for all the prayers, positive energy, all that good stuff. Like, I've been so busy, you guys. I haven't even had a chance. I literally told the people closest to me, and that was it. I didn't announce it on anything or anything like that. So, so these next two things, I turned the camera around so you guys could really, really, really see it. So this is the color. This is a matte lipstick by Juvia's Place, the Festival Liquid Lip in the color soil and I love their packaging like I really don't and it's cruelty free paraben free and vegan um and I just really love their packaging don't look at my nails don't judge me I have to take them off because Starbucks from what I know does not have any nails so this is soil by Juvie's Place on the top the bottom that's peanut butter luster by Beauty Bakery so they're they're one the top one the juvie's place one has a bit more orange in it and the beauty bakery one is a bit more of a brown undertone but they're both very pretty and the last thing i got was dun, 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 the nubian mini palette by juvie's place as well and i didn't want to get the huge palette because I'm like, you know, it takes me a while to go through eyeshadow palettes, right? But I just really want to try this one. It was only $10. It was so cute. Look at those. Look at those colors, guys. I mean, especially the glitter with the shimmers. So pretty. And I couldn't beat it for $10, right? Give, give it a try. I have a couple of other palettes from Juvia's Place. But 
I really wanted to try this one and I love that they this comes in a mini palette so even if you don't like love it love it you will be like okay it was only ten dollars you know and if you do love it you can go get the massive one which I think has uh, eight eyeshadows in it or nine nine eyeshadows um and it's like twenty dollars I think but this was ten okay, so I just wanted to show you guys a couple of quick swatches so the top row is actually I did it opposite I probably should have did it right the top row is actually the bottom row in the palette so that one is this one right here and the middle one is this one and the end one this gold one oh, so pretty is this one here and going back to the top this brown one is this one right here this beautiful like oh it's, it's not picking up that well on camera but it's like this cranberry color it's shimmery af and it's that one and then of course the last one is more of like a tan brown this brown has a little bit more beige in it a little more gold undertone this one's a more of a nuded brown um but they're all really cute and i thought why not cluttering my makeup so I got this as a gift from Bestie. I kind of fucked up a little bit, but I picked some of the alcohol. This is the e.l.f. Um, highlighter in uh, Apricot Glow. Of course, this is Ballerina and Gilded Honey by Laura Geller. This is my MAC Love Rush that I've been using. And this is the new one that I haven't used, but I got some of the other highlighter on it. But <laughs> I'm about to declutter my makeup, y'all. And my God, it's just like... This is all matte lipsticks. This is all um, glosses. These are eyeshadow palettes, concealer, um, glitter. So everything eyeshadow. I just did my highlight and blush drawer and this is what I'm left with. I had to throw away a few things so far. So I'm gonna continue to do it and when I'm done, I will show you what it looks like. Cause I just want to show you before, um, pretty much my foundation and primers and everything are pretty up to date. Um, my setting spray is my lips. I don't love this by ColourPop. I normally like ColourPop stuff, but this brow pencil is not the business. My favorite one is by NYX. And the only reason I tried this is because this one was like 5 or $6. And I was like, let me see what they're talking about. But the NYX one that I love is like 10 or $12. And y'all, it's worth the splurge because this is trash to me. Um, it doesn't really show up on my skin um the the formula is really dry it's really dry so if you guys are looking for a brown pencil that's not super dry um i will go with nyx honestly i didn't love this one but yeah i'm gonna finish don't judge my uh one, six six of them four or five sorry six counting this one um setting sprays this is the xl version only reason i have so many is because it was a limited edition to Ulta during the holiday season. So I can never be out of setting spray. Um, this is also glitter here. Um, I got that as a gift, I'll probably never give that away. And then just like, you know, the little sponge to switch out your eyeshadow. Um, some more um, setting powder. Um, this is a mixture of the Laura Gela and the, um, oh girl, I can't, Topaz and another setting powder oh yeah um but yeah i just mix them all together because i use them all anyway but yeah like i said i'm gonna go declutter and i will show you guys what it looks like when all i'm right, done so i'm finally done i have a huge bag of stuff trash makeup that i haven't used or is expired or uh yeah pretty much um it went from a small ultra bag to this bag but it's fine um i basically have these are all my foundations and pencils setting spray all my palettes here these are just uh eyelash glue sharpener tweezers this is all my eyeliners and eye mascara the bottom drawer this is what i have i'm letting this stay open so it could dry but it's the palette i showed you guys a couple a little bit earlier um so once again it's just i had to press that back down i'm letting that dry because it's alcohol this is highlighters, blush, contour, highlighter, highlighter, all highlighters. This is a foundation, of course, powder. Um, then also the eye shadow drawer. 
This is all ColourPop. Um, I'm also letting this dry. This is Morphe. Um, I, I don't want that to stay wet. It needs to dry. So, this is all glitter back here. This is a glitter primer, which I want to try another one. Um, someone who I met via, what's it called? YouTube. <laughs> um, told me about one from, uh, oh, I forgot the name of it. But another one, and I'm going to eventually try that. Violet Voss, that's what it is. Because this one's more like a cream primer, and I'm not loving it. Um, all my uh, glitters. These are all palettes, eyeshadow palettes. This is all concealer palettes. This is also an eyeshadow palette. This is the Jackie Anna Elf one. This is the Sam Fine Fashion Fair. I will never get rid of those two. They're like my personal collector items, which I love. This is all matte lipstick. Um, these are like reds, orange, pinks, um, purples, nudes down here. These are the. This is the one I haven't opened yet. Um, this is also more of a nudie brick color. Um, we have blacks, grays, and odd colors. Um, here is just a gloss drawer. Once again, the reds, pinks. Um, I have a little bit less gloss, but I did throw some away as well. I will never get rid of this as well. This is from the Butterfly Project, um, which I've talked to her on Snapchat and everything. She is a sweetheart, the lady who runs it. Um, so. Uh, personally, one of my favorite collector's items as well. It's such a beautiful color. It's more of a glossy finish, so that's why it's in the gloss drawer. Um, also, I have a backup of the Fenty Fenty Glow. I keep one in my car, one in my purse. The one in my car is going low, so I got another one. This is a gift. Um, it has my name on it. It's, uh, it was a gift from the black color. It's called Perversion. Um, yeah, so I will never get rid of this one either. These are just um, the little flower gloss things, you know, I thought it was super cute. I don't use it. Um, I maybe use it one time and that was it. This one was something I just really wanted. So I believe that is it y'all. My brushes and stuff are currently in the bathroom because I had to wash them. But yeah, that so was it to that. declutter today. Um, I've been decluttering over the past couple of months, just kind of getting rid of things I don't use. Um, if I haven't used it in months or even years sometime, I just go ahead and get rid of it. Um, especially since, you know, I'm trying to just clutter it out. So when I start doing tutorials again and stuff, I won't have to be like, oh, I haven't used this in a minute. Um, there's some stuff I will never get rid of because clearly I have things that I consider my own personal collector's items that I really want to keep. But you guys, that is pretty much it. Um, I know that these vlogs, you're like, girl, can we get a tutor off? I promise y'all, I'm gonna give y'all another tutorial. Um, but I'm trying to find looks and stuff to give you a tutorial on. And plus there's all this other shit that's been going on. So give me some time, I swear. I wanna do it right. I wanna have like a backdrop and stuff like that. But honestly, you guys know that I'll do it without the backdrop. The cats will be in the back. And it just is what it is. But yeah, you guys, I will see you like next time. Let me know what you guys want to see. I've tried this on Facebook and on Snap. I mean, on Instagram and Snap, I believe. And I'll do it again here just to ask you guys what is it that you want to see. What kind of content do you guys want to see from me? So I plan on pushing out more vlogs, of course. Um, some tutorials and stuff like that. I want to start doing the get ready with me again. But, um... I don't go as many places lately, so I will talk to you guys later.